This is a modular synthesizer, and the way to patch it is entirely up to you. This video is intended to provide you with an initial patch for using the new Universal Synthesizer system modules, but it is by no means a default patch, nor is it the correct patch. The correct patch is the one you make. But if you're looking for a place to start with these modules, feel free to patch along with me and refer to the other videos in this playlist for more information about all of the concepts and functionality we will briefly be covering here. Let's get started. Multiwave, polymaths, and the pair of QXGs are all connected under the hood with the chain cables that are supplied with each module. This normalizes a signal path of audio from the multiwave, amplitude modulation from polymaths happening at the QXGs. The only patch necessary to complete this chain is to connect the outputs of the leftmost QXG to the auxiliary inputs of the rightmost QXG. And we'll monitor the outputs of the rightmost QXG. Next up, I'll connect multiwave and polymaths so that they both activate at the same time and both activate the same channels at the same time. This is just one example of the ways in which these two modules can be connected. It is by no means the only way. This one should just get you started the most quickly. On polymaths, you'll want to be in channel index mode. That's the one where the display glows in white. Set the span panel control to noon, and the span CV attenuverter fully clockwise. When these two settings are in place, this display will glow especially bright, indicating that polymaths is now ready to accurately follow channel index voltages. On multiwave, I'll connect the channel index output to the span CV input on polymaths. And on multiwave, I like to start in round mode. That's the one in yellow. As with polymaths, use the mode button to select between the activation modes. And finally, let's activate multiwave. To do that, I'll patch a clock from Tempe into a mult, and I'll send one copy of it to the activate input on multiwave. As we can see, as multiwave advances through its channels, polymaths advances in tandem. With span set to 1 in round mode, multiwave will advance sequentially through its eight channels, one channel per activation. I'll patch another copy of the clock to the X clock input on Rene. And I'll patch the XCV output on Rene to the volt per octave input on multiwave. And now the pitch of each channel will update upon activation with the voltage present at the volt per octave input. If we increase the fall time on polymaths, we can hear these notes overlap. From here, we can explore modulation dissemination, in which each channel holds a modulation value present at its CV input upon activation and updates it again at the next activation. I'll patch a gate out from press point to the fall CV input on polymaths, and I'll set its attenuverter clockwise. From here, we can also explore the effects that spread has. I've set the oscillation attenuverter fully clockwise, 
and if I set spread in a clockwise direction, then the rightmost channels will be affected more by oscillation than the leftmost channels. And if I set spread counterclockwise from noon, then the leftmost channels will be affected more by oscillation than the rightmost channels. Hopefully, this patch provides you with enough of a starting point from which you can explore further. For more information on any of these modules, be sure to check out their manuals on our website, take a look at the other videos in this playlist for more information, and be sure to check back every week here on our YouTube channel for more patches.